Hey, Tanner. Um, I know you had a, uh, led the team in receiving the other night. You had a pretty good game, and, and you were playing probably a little nicked up. But um, I guess the good news is that every time we ask Coach Arians about you, he talks. He also makes comments about your blocking or this, that, and the other. How do you take that? I mean, he's always the coach him hard and hug him up later guy. Um, just what's your reaction to to his uh, some of his advice that he dispenses? Um, I mean, the way I look at it, he's the coach. And, you know, if he's still talking to me and coaching me up, that means he still cares. So right. that's kind of the way I look at it. And, you know, just got to keep improving on the things that he says and go from there. And, and about those things, I mean, how do you think you've come along in those areas? Because obviously, you know, your hands and your receiving ability is, is your, your calling card. Um, uh, you know, I'm just working on it every day, trying to get better at it, you know, working with some of the older guys, trying to see little techniques that might help, help them out. So, you know, just every day, just trying to listen to coaching and older players that have been there and done that. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Greg Almond. If any media have a question, please raise your hand. This process before with final cuts, and it obviously it's gone both ways for you um, initially. I just want to ask you what that's done to change how you handle things now and, and, and what this is like for you this week. Um, you know, back rookie year, you know, it, it did get to me, you know, bothered me, you know, you're thinking that's all you think about as a rookie, but, you know, I had a couple of the older guys, you know, tell me just control what you can control. And, you know, that's kind of just stuck in my head throughout the couple of years, you know, I'm going to go out there and do what I can. And, you know, if they need me, then they'll keep me. And if not, then, you know, we'll move on from there. But, you know, I love, I love this place and, you know, just trying to go out there and get better every day. Thanks, Sam. Next, we'll go to Joey Knight. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Well, I'm not asking you to uh, be critical or anything, but you were involved in a controversial catch the other night from just looking at it repeatedly. Were you losing control of the ball? Did the ground cause the fumble? What What do you think? Um, you know, it, it's one of those bang-bang plays, and, you know, it's one of those if they call it a – they call it a completion on the field. You know, it's probably going to stand, but they happen to call it a, I think, a fumble or interception on the field. So that stood. So, you know, I just kind of go with what they said. You know, I think personally, I think it was a catch, but, you know, I'm always, of course, I'm going to think it's a catch. So, you know, but it is what it is. And, you know, you just got to move on to the next play, short memory. Thanks. Does anyone else have questions? Oh, we'll go to Rick Stroud now. Hey, Tanner, I know um, last year uh, around the Super Bowl time, I, I guess your hometown was pretty, pretty strongly behind you. Um, you I think you, I read where you took out a billboard to thank them or whatever. Just what does it mean where you're from and, 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 and how much do they support you on this on the biggest of stages? Uh, I mean, it means everything to know that you know, all those got all the people back home or, you know, they have my back, whether, you know, I get hurt, whether I make the team, you know, what, whatever it may be, you know, I know that they have my back uh, in any aspect of it. And um, also, uh, I would just like to say that um, Humphreys County, Waverly, you know, it's not my hometown, but it's, it's right there beside it. They've just currently had a really, really, really bad flood. And um, a lot of people have lost a lot of family members and, you know, there's still people missing. So, you know, all I can ask is just for prayers and, you know, just think about those people back home and, you know, I'm going to do what I can to help them out. And, um, you know, all, all I can ask is for prayers for them. Was, was there, um, everybody has their Super Bowl moment, right? When the confetti's falling, you obviously went through a, 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 an unspeakable tragedy with your dad in November. Just what, what came to mind to, to, to stand on that stage for you? And, and, you know, here's a guy that, you know, only was going to play high school football if he could punt, uh, you know. So um, I'm just curious, like, what, what are those thoughts that, that whirled through you at that time? Um, you know, it's just the memories, you know, like, you know, obviously I wish he could be there in person, but I, I knew he was there and just being able to have uh, my fiance and my, and my mom there on the field, we were just, they both ran out there and then, you know, just laying there in the confetti with them, you know, looking up, knowing that, you know, he's he's watching over us. And, you know, he was right there with us the whole time. Just, you know, meant everything to me. So, 
you know, it's just, it's one of those moments where, you know, he's still there. 